Most of you guys, in short, 95% of you guys think to be successful in forex trading, you need to make 100 and 100 and 100 of pips per day or per week or per month to be able to be successful in forex trading. But on today's video, I want to tell you guys something a little bit different. You don't need to make 100 pips a day or 50 pips a day or thousands of pips a day to be able to become a forex millionaire. 10 pips a day and doing that conservatively and consistently is all you need to become a forex millionaire. Make sure you stay to the end of the video and I'm going to show you 10 pips a day is all you need to become a forex millionaire. And I'm going to be showing on this video, I'm going to be covering a 10 pip a day strategy that will help you to be able to make money in forex trading. What's up guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Indemar Segalov and on this channel we talk everything about trading, business, personal finance and tips to help you stay profitable on a consistent basis. So if this is your first time coming to my channel or if you have been watching my channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss information like this. Perfect! So the steps are simple, right? The steps are simple. And remember, don't get out of the topic, right? I'm going to be showing you guys a simple 10 pip a day strategy. Remember, I said 10 pips is all what you need to be able to become a Forex millionaire. If you're making like 10 pips a day, let me just do, let's just do some small math, right? Let's just do some math to show you guys that I'm not just saying. If you're making 10 pips a day, and remember, in a week, we have five days, right? And in a month, we have 20 trading days in a month. So you are able to make 20 times... 10. So you're making almost about 200, 200 pips. You're making about 200 pips every month. If you're able to make 200 pips every month and you have something like a $1,000 account and you're using the least loss size possible or the least money management rules, the worst case scenario you can make between 250, you can make between $200 to about uh, $500 within a month. That's somebody's salary. And what we tell you if you're having something like a one something like a $10,000 account where you are using a standard lot then with 200 pips a month you'll be making about $2,000 a month conservatively and making 10 pips a day will take you just about 30 minutes or less than 30 minutes every day to make 10 pips and I'm going to show you guys the strategy and the strategy doesn't need you to buy any indicator it's strictly a price action strategy good so with that being said let me go let's just go on back on my screen and I'm going to tell you guys the step the first step is you need to divide this into two, right? The first one is what I call your higher time frame, all right? Your higher time frame, and on this section you have your lower, uh, you have your lower time frame, all right? So you have your higher time frame and the lower time frame. On the higher time frame section of the, because remember, I'm somebody that I always preach. Don't try to cash a falling knife. Make sure you have strategies that enable you to trade in the direction of the market. Make sure you have trend trading strategies that will enable you to have higher risk to reward and it will also prevent your trade from going against or the market from going against you and triggering your stop loss. With that being said, on the higher time frame, that is where you're going to be having a bigger view of the market, an overall view of the market, where the market is going. Then on the lower time frame, that is where you're going to be scalping because this is more like a scalping strategy. Remember, I'm teaching you guys how you can literally make uh, 10 pips every day, all right? So higher time frame for you to have an overall view of the market or the macro view of the market, while on the lower time frame, you have the micro view of the market. Good let's just let's come down let's come now let's undo this let's undo this let's undo this let's delete this so let's put this now so on the high time frame what i want you to do is if you are somebody like somebody like me i can use the one hour time frame or the h1 to determine the overall market direction then scalping in into the trade i will then use m5 or the five minute time frame all right i use m5 so one hour time frame to determine the overall direction of the market and the five minute time frame or the m5 to take our trade if on the if on uh, the higher time frame the direction of the market is a downtrend like you see something like this the market forming uh, lower highs lower low lower highs lower low on the lower time frame you then see something like this you see the same thing on the lower time frame and i want you to only take say trade as simple as that 
If on the higher time frame the market is going down, on the lower time frame you see something like this, I want you to only take sell trade. If on the higher time frame the market is then bouncing on higher lows, higher lows, higher heights, higher lows, higher heights, higher lows, higher heights, on the five minute time frame you see something like this, all right? When you see something like this, I want you to only take buy trades on the five minute time frame. And how do you take that trade? Now this is where things get very, very interesting, all right? On the higher time frame, there is, the, remember the market always breathe out and breathe in, breathe out and breathe in. And part of breathing out and breathing in, in trading terms is what we call an impulse and a correction. An impulse and a correction. A correction is also known as a consolidation, all right? So an impulse and a correction. Like here, you saw the market was going down, right? From here to here, this is, from here to here, this is an impulse. And here to here, this is a correction. This is an impulse, this is a correction. This is an impulse, and if the market was to go this way, this is a correction. If the market is in an uptrend, this is an impulse, this is a correction. This is an impulse, this is a correction. This is an impulse, this is a correction. A correction is the same. It starts for me when you start seeing a flag, something they used to call the flag pattern. Remember, a flag pattern obviously just represents a flag, like this, right? And you can see here we have flag patterns, we have flag patterns, we have stuff like that. So, anytime, you see, uh, any time you've already determined your market trend on the higher time frame, you then move to the lower time frame, and any time you see an impulse, you start waiting for a correction. And any time the correction forms, you look for what you use your candlestick patterns. Remember, candlesticks have different, there are different types of candlesticks you have reversal candlesticks and you have trend continue you have trend reversal candlesticks and trend reversals candlesticks so what we're going to be using on the lower time frame to take those trades are trend reversal candlesticks trend reversal candlesticks are candlesticks like maybe the hanging man or uh, the kangaroo tea, the marabuzo the engulfing candles those are all reversal candles there's already a video there's already a detailed video on the channel that i've already made on the on the candlestick bible what you're supposed to know about candlestick so i can't be going i can't be going over that again because i've already done a video about that so if you haven't watched that video make sure you click the link above or if i don't put the link, the link above just check on the channel just type candlestick on my channel you'll be able to see a detailed video that i made explaining this a reversal candlestick patterns so that is the theoretical part of it right and since you've already, as soon as you see that correction, you remember you, you obviously have your, your impulse. Let's just say the market is going down, right? On the lower time frame, you have your impulse and you start waiting for a correction. Anytime you start seeing a correction, you wait for a, you. The only thing you are looking for is a reversal candlestick pattern. Anytime you see a reversal candlestick pattern, you say the market is going to ride again in the original direction of the market. All right. And as soon as you say here, yeah, your stop loss is half of your take profit. Our take profit is just 10 pips. Done. Our take profit is just 10 pips and our stop loss is half of that. It's just five pips. So we are risking five pips to go for 10 pips. Boom. Within 30 minutes or 20 minutes or so, depending on how volatile the market is, you hit your take profit. As soon as that happens again, you will see something again. Like you see another correction in the market. You look for another what? Another sell signal. Another reversal candlestick signal. Maybe you can see some, a candlestick somewhere, something like this, with a longer week where you see like a rejection or you can see like a, a bearish engulfing candle, a candlestick that just completely engulfed the previous candle. That's a bearish engulfing candle. Or you can see like uh, the marabuzo or just, you know a lot of reversal candlesticks that as soon as you see that you buy you sell without second guessing your target is what 10 pips your stop loss is half of that that is that that is that is just the basic of the strategy right that is just the basic behind the strategy and you just keep doing that you just keep doing that just keep selling selling taking your take profit selling take. at the end of the day no matter what you do you must have at least 10 pips profit because this strategy has a win rate of at least 50 percent so since it has a win rate of at least 50 percent let's just say uh let's just say let's let's come back here since you have a win is this strategy is having a win rate of at least 50 percent let's just say you have four trade right you hope you have four trade and two of those trades are losers and two are winners all right the two losers, since you are risking only 5 pips, you're going to lose 10 pips. So you are down with minus 10 pips, all right? Minus 10 pips. And the two trades that are winners, remember you are targeting 10 pips. So the two trades that are winners, you're going to be having plus 
20 pips all right so what is your net profit your net profit now is going to be plus 20 pips minus 10 pips which is what plus 10 pips can you see this can you see the mathematics behind it that is why i'm telling you guys no matter what you do at the end of the day you come out with plus 10 pips and that is it you are done for the day now since i've shown you guys the idea theoretically let's go now on my chart and i'll show you guys on a live market condition good now you can see we have this particular oh sorry let me let me just delete this let me delete this go back here and we have this chart of uh, euro usd right we have this chart of euro usd and here let me just push this back up good we have this chart of euro usd so the first thing you have to do is to determine the market direction and you know there are many ways you can be able to use to determine the market direction right you can see the market if i have to just check somewhere here the market was bouncing on what on higher on higher lows higher heights higher lows higher highs higher lows higher height somewhere here and the next higher low was somewhere here but we didn't bring another higher height good can you see that is what we call a change of structure that is what we call a change of structure so the market is already changing structure and what happened the market now started forming what higher highs higher lows higher highs higher low so somewhere here that change of structure also give us what we call a double top all right a double top so what you can use on the higher time frame remember this is my one hour time frame i want to determine the market direction first so that i can go on the lower time frame and only trade on the direction of the market on the high time frame the quickest we have just given you guys even if you bring in a moving average the moving average is going to give you the same result because you can you should already even know how a moving average com comes about right they just uh, uh, add previous candles and they look for an average that's why it's called the moving average good so this particular pattern you use uh, chart patterns there's a difference between chart patterns and candlestick patterns you use your chart patterns on the higher time frame to determine the, the direction of the market then you use candlestick patterns on the lower time frame to enter into the trade as easy as that and from what i've just explained let me just go back again to just show you guys this so that you can understand again the market was what the market was in an uptrend the market is forming higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows then here again somewhere here let's just delete this somewhere here we form our higher height somewhere here from higher lows but the market at this point in time didn't form another higher height then you see the market break this higher low which is what we call the neckline all right this is what we call the bottom the double top double uh top which is a pure reversal signal when we saw this double top on the higher time frame the market is clearly in a downtrend the market is instead forming what lower highs plus lower low and in time the market is forming lower highs plus lower low that is a that is a downtrend all right that is a clear downtrend so let's clear this we've already known very clearly very very clearly we've known very very clearly that the market is in a downtrend that is very very clear the market is in a downtrend on a higher time frame even if you want to bring in our support and resistance you see the market is bouncing on that on the higher time frame on the one hour time frame and here on the one hour time frame can you see this so there's a high probability the market is trying to test back down here so what is our conclusion again the market is in a clear downtrend you, you start seeing something like this all right so the market is in a clear downtrend on the higher time frame since we've already known that the market is in a clear downtrend on the high time frame let's start let's go down now to the five minute time frame where we're going to be taking our trade as easy as that now let's go back to the let's switch this now to the five minute time frame okay perfect so on the lower time frame which is the five minute time frame i want us to do a replay so that we do one candle at a time to be able to look for where we would have taken our trade all right now let's take on a replay and even cut somewhere here all right good let's take somewhere here let's go on a replay and cut it right here good we don't know what is happening we don't know what would have happened so we already know that the market is in a downtrend all right and we already have our first impulse remember we are looking for an impulse and a correction 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 and anytime we have a correction we're going to be looking to say or at the b we're going to be looking to say at that particular correction all right so that we can we can trade with the trend so that we can join the trend so since we've already have the, we've had this particular impulse we're just looking for the next correction all right so let's do this thing let's play the candlesticks one by one so that we can be able to see where we have gotten into that particular trade all right 
You can see the market, the market is beginning to form a correction. The market is beginning to form a correction. So let's stop it here and do one candle at a time, all right? So if I'm playing it one candle at a time, you can see this particular candlestick here is what we call an inner candle, right? An inner candle. And anytime you have an inner candle, that's, that's an indecision. That's the kind of candlesticks we call an indecision candlestick pattern. And the next candle that comes after an indecision candlestick pattern or an indecision candlestick is going to give us the direction of the market or is going to give us the decision in the market. So let's play to see the candle that would have come after that, all right? Let's just play this and see. Good, you can see. So the candle that comes after that is a bullish candle. So it's not yet time for us to, it's not yet time for us to sell. So let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep going and looking for a sell signal. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we have another inner candle again. Remember, we are still on a downtrend. We are looking for a sell signal. Okay, perfect. So now we have an inner candle and the next candle that comes after that is a bearish candle. That's a confirmation of a bearish signal. So we're going to be selling somewhere here. So we bring in our sell, we sell somewhere here and we're just going to be risking how many? We're going to be risking five pips to go for uh, 10 pips. That's it. Risk to reward of one is to two. Let's just fix it again. Risk to reward of one is to two. Let's play to see how soon we would have hit our take profit. So let's go. Let's go. The next candle, we're not, the market went against us, went against us. Boom. Just one candle after that, guys. Can you see? Just one candle after that, we are already almost about seven pips into the trade. Let's go. Let's go and see. Boom. The next candle after that, We've already hit our take profit. We are already out. Plus 10 pips. As easy as that. So we are already out with plus 10 pips. Let's continue to go. Let's continue to go to see it. Let's continue and then look for another opportunity. All right. Let's see. The market keeps coming down. Good. That's, a, that's an impulse. Now we're waiting for a correction. We're waiting for another correction. Waiting for another sell signal. So that is still the impulse. We're waiting for another correction in the market so that we can then enter again. Good, good, good. Good. We are still waiting for a good correction. We are still waiting for a clear correction so that we can enter on another trade. Good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect. I like this. I like this. So you can see anytime you start seeing a movement like this, it should be a clear correction. A correction, you can see the movement very clearly. So I'm going to be looking for a sell signal after this particular move. So let's play now one candle at a time to be able to see. Good. That's an inner candle, an indecisive candle. If the next candle that is coming after this is bearish, I'm going to be taking my trade. Boom. Let's see. Boom. The next candle is bearish. So I'm going to be selling somewhere here. And if I'm selling somewhere here, uh, my stop loss is going to be going. Let's see if this one would have been a winner. I'm going to be selling somewhere here. My stop loss is going to go on five pips just somewhere here. And my take profit is going to go on 10 pips somewhere here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we would have hit our take profit on this one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Remember, I'm, I'm trading as if it was in the live market condition so that I don't miss any trade. So let's play and see. Good, we are already down with plus almost, oh, and then it will retrace against us. Can you see this, guys? Can you see this? Just one candle after that, our take, we've already hit our take profit. <laughs> Can you see this? Because this trade, I was a little bit skeptical about this particular trade because of this particular uh, lower high. Because the market might come and test this particular lower high. But since I was sticking on my rule of just risking 5 pips to go for 10 pips, that's why my stop loss was just here and my take profit was here. And boom, we've already hit our take profit. That's already plus 20 pips for the day. Let's keep going to see if we would have had another trade, right? Let's keep going now. Let's, we're already out with plus 20 pips. Let's keep going. We are waiting for another major correction in the market. We are waiting for another major correction to see if it good. That is another major correction, guys. This is another. Let's shrink this a little bit because this trade, we are already out from this trade. So this is another major correction somewhere here. And we have this uh, a kangaroo tail. This is a, kan a kangaroo tail. It's a clear reversal. A kangaroo tail is just something like this. Where you see a candle like this, like this, like this. Then you see a long wig. You see this long rejection wig, right? And this small body and a long rejection wig at a key level is a kangaroo tail, and that's a key reversal signal. So after this, I'm going to be selling. I don't even need to wait for another signal. All right, so I'm going to be selling somewhere here. My stop loss is just going to go on five pips, and my take profit is going to go on 10 pips. Risk to reward of one is to two. Let's play and see what would have happened. Let's go. 
Guys, can you see this? Just within two minutes, just one candle after that, I'm already out of the trade. That is what? That is already, those are already three trade, three winners on the road. So we are up with what? We are up with, we are already up with plus 30 pips. Can you see this? Plus 30 pips for the day. Let's back test again, guys. Let's continue. I'm just showing you guys step by step. Remember, we are only looking for sell trade. And this is another impulse. We're waiting for another major correction again to look for a sell signal. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go back to back testing and look for another major impulse to look for another trade. This is the first trade, second trade, third trade. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're, we're waiting for another major correction. To be able to look for a sell, a sell opportunity all right unless you just keep doing this unless the market trend has changed good so let's continue let's continue and look for another uh sell opportunity we already have our impulse we are waiting for now a correction all right we are waiting for a major correction so let's keep going let's keep going guys let's keep going uh let's push this one okay you can see there's a correction coming in somewhere here that's a correction this candle this is another rejection candle clear rejection candle somewhere here and it is a similar candle to this it's a similar kangaroo tail to this so we're going to be selling somewhere here let's come in again we say somewhere here we are risking five pips you can see that is four that is five pips and we are going for a target of uh, 10 pips boom that is 10 pips somewhere there let's see if this one would have been a winner so let's go boom okay we are already in profit i can see this the market going against us let's go boom so this one would have been a loser you can see this one hit our stop loss we got in somewhere here this one hit our stop loss so we have now one loser we have one loser let's keep going guys let's keep going to see if we would have taken another trade so that is that guys you just keep doing this the first thing is for you to go on your higher time frame which is the one remember this is a scalping strategy right this is not a swing trade it's a scalping strategy the first thing is for you to go on your higher time frame to determine the overall market direction and you already know you can already know steps on how to determine the market direction even if you're not using an indicator which i wouldn't advise you to use an indicator you can use market structure all right so long as the market is bouncing on higher lows higher highs higher lows high, on higher lows higher high high lows higher, that's it that's an uptrend and if the structure change from a high high to a high low and you start seeing something like a lower low lower highs that is a change in structure and that is a downtrend and you can also use chart patterns there are reversal chart patterns like double bottom double tops the head and shoulder patterns the triangular patterns those are reversal chart patterns that you can also use to determine the market direction so based on whatsoever technique you are using to determine your market direction you need to be able to confirm the market direction on the higher time frame then you move down to the lower time frame which is then your five minute time frame and you only trade in the direction of the market and moving down to the lower time frame you already know very clearly that the market always what let's just assume the market was going down the market always have an impulse a correction 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 anytime you see a correction you start looking for a candlestick reversal pattern to be able to to sell on that particular impulse in any time you start seeing a correction you start looking for a candlestick reversal to be able to sell on that particular import so you just keep looking for sell signals keep looking for sell signals and if you keep doing it at the end of the day this strategy is at least having a 50 percent accuracy meaning even if you take 10 trades you must have at least five trades that are going to be winners and if you take 10 trades five winners five losers those five winners you make 50 pips and five losers you lost 25 pips at the end of the day you make plus 25 pips so that is that guys and i've already shown you how to enter into the trade you use a candlestick reversal pattern to enter into the trade you just go for a risk to reward of one is to two and boom you'll be able to hit your take profit within a couple of minutes and you have 22 the forex market has 22 current currency pairs so when you open your chart you choose any currency pair of your choice and also based on market sessions if it is the london session then you're going to be trading the great between pound currency pair or the european currency pairs if it is a if there's a new york session then you're going to be trading the united states uh, dollar currency pairs or if you are now going into the asian sessions like me used to be very late in the night then you have to start trading the Japanese, uh, the Japanese yen currency pair, or the USD Japanese card, Japanese yen, Great British Bank Japan. So also understand market sessions and only trade currency pairs that fall within that particular market session, so that the market will be able to have a lot of liquidity. So there you go, guys. That is a 10 pip a day strategy, which I use for almost 
a couple of years and that was a very conservative strategy for me i'll just get into the market maybe 10 maybe 30 minutes a day one one hour a day i just get those 10 pips 20 pips i'm done i come the next day at the end of the month you see cumulatively you've already made money that can it's already the salary of maybe somebody who is working a nine to five job that is what they call passive income so there you go guys that is a 10 pip a day strategy and i want you guys to start practicing it as soon as you are done watching this particular video let me know on the comment section any question you have about this particular strategy or any question you have about forex trading and i promise i always reply to all comments on my video check out the link below to be able to join my discord free community if you want to be able to hear from me one-on-one -on -one, also enroll in golov university petrix pro is also available check the link on the video description and if you want to also use the same brokers i use you also see the recommended links below make sure you watch the videos that are going to be coming at the end of the screen because the same videos are related to the same topic make sure you stay happy stay profitable and i'll see you guys on the next videos Peace.